Come on guys, it's King's KG back again with another video. Obviously it's gonna be about waves again. I've got my wave cap on, I've got my do rag on. You already know what it's about to be in it. I just wanna apologize in advance here because of obviously the bad lighting. I had a little problem with the light that I usually use, so obviously I just have to use I just have to use my room light for now, isn't it? It just gets like that. In this video, I'm going to be going over exactly how you need to brush your hair in order for you to get the perfect waves and to form perfect connections as well. So your waves can look something like this. I'm going to put something on the screen like, maybe like, around there, you get me? So yeah, I'm going to hop straight into it. Okay guys, I'm going to turn around right now, I'm going to show you the exact angles that you need to be using to get the perfect waves, the perfect connections and how it's going to put you on the path to like, just get the best, the best improvement out of all of your friends. Alright cool, so I'm going to show you right now. So those are the angles that you want to be using. It's, only, it's, only, it's not a lot, it's not even a lot to remember, it's just a nice little 8. That's an eight. I'm doing that one thing before. Me. <laughs> cool. So I'm gonna put in a nice little brush session just for you, lot, so you can see exactly how I'm brushing my angles and how you should be brushing yours as well. If you want to get 360, if you have any other patterns and you want to know the angles for that, just leave a comment down below. I'll show you exactly how to do it. Got my brush right here. All matching my chucky and that. Come on. Look. So got my softy. Obviously, I've got a fresh little lineup for you lot today. My barber, he nice me. Obviously, you want to get a mirror so you know exactly what you're doing. You want to get two mirrors. You can see that other mirror in the background. You can see me in a mirror as well, etc. And yeah, let's get straight into it. That's the first angle. They're going straight. And remember, this is important. When you're splitting your when you're splitting your head up into the different sections, you want to make sure that your crown is always at the center. You're not overlapping your crown. 
keep it always brushing away from it, no matter what angle you're coming from. That's at the top. I'm gonna turn around and show you the back now. Notice that I'm never really overlapping my crown. So, another way how you can avoid doing this is you get two mirrors. Obviously, as you can see in the, in the mirror, I've got this other mirror in the background. So, yeah, it helps me guide what I'm doing, help me guide myself and it just helps me know what I'm doing. So, yeah, let me show you. So, yeah, I'm brushing away from my crown. Those of you, those of you that don't know what your crown is, it's essentially. The place on your head where all your hair is growing from, like your hair doesn't just grow from like all around your head, like it just originates from like one specific spot. Um, I'll put a couple of examples on screen now. I'll put one there, one there, put another one there, and yeah, that's it. Should help you get a better understanding of what a crown is. All right, now when I turn around, I'll point you to my crown right now. Right there. It's not that hard to do, but yeah, I'm just showing us so you get a good understanding of what you need to do in it. Okay, that's my session done for today. Also, there's a couple things I want to tell you before I go. As you'll see in my video, um, not my video. As you'll see in my brush session, there wasn't actually eight, there was actually ten because I include two extras, two extra angles that they just work for my head shape because obviously you have different head shapes, different head shapes will require different amounts of angles, okay, so obviously I've developed two extra ones that help me with my head shape specifically. You'll see me brushing those angles when um, doing my brush session there. Um, if you think that you have a weird head shape and that you don't and that the eight angles that I've shown that I've shown previously don't apply to you, um, you can hit up on my social media like Snapchat right here or Instagram right here and yeah you can show me your head shape and yeah boom I'll give you the pattern not pat I'll give you the angles that will help you define your ways a bit better in it because obviously these angles are for everyone. Obviously hope you like the video Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe, and share with just one friend.